yeah, well, that's just me, I guess, yeah. But then knowing that we're going to be living together and Ruben's very confrontational and I'm not confrontational at all. So I've been practicing and starting a lot of arguments with my practicing, <laughs> which is uh, so frustrating and so hard, but it's got to be done. The next thing we're going to talk about is how you feel about people responding to you being so young and being engaged and getting married so young. Because I know that I've had a lot of interesting responses. Have you had any interesting ones? Mainly from my mother. Really? Yeah. Everyone else was so like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is great. And yeah, we had a couple of people that were like, oh, like, you know, a bit more reserved in their excitement. But, you know, my mum was the one that, you know, hit it straight. All right. So, um, you guys are really young, uh, you guys need to do this, rah, 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 and I'm just going, okay, mum, thanks, mm, that's really awesome. Seriously. Yeah. yeah, really seriously from, you know, the second I came home with an engagement ring on, yeah. whereas, you know, everyone else, if there were any concerns, eased into it, didn't just keep me over the back of the head with <laughs> their opinion. We love you, Kathy. <laughs> I, lo I love you, mum. It was just really, really upfront, really, really quickly. Um, but, I don't know, I think most of the response has been pretty positive just because, I don't know, I think people think I'm a lot more Sam and I are a lot mature than we actually are. <laughs> oh my god. Which gives a little bit concerning because, you know, I can't I can act mature, but really I'm mentally a two year old. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it's good. I mean, I've found that lots of people that aren't like, let's be honest guys, in the Christian realm, like, half of the people get married when they're like 20. I remember when I went down to a church in Sydney. Oh yeah, I'm home by the way guys, I'm on the Gold Coast Yes, now. she's back! I'm not in she's Sydney back. anymore, but that's for another day. So, um, when I was in Sydney, I went to a church and I walked in there, met some people my age. I kid you not, there were 18 year olds engaged, 19 year olds married, 20 year olds married, like, there were so many of them in our church. Not we so are the much. first of the kind of our age generation yeah. to get engaged and married, so yeah. it was crazy going into that. But so in in the church realm, you get pretty positive remarks, or like, yeah. yeah, of course you're getting married young. But then when I went out into like the secular world, I'm mean like into my workplace and stuff, I would get a lot of because uh, I knew I was, I was a Christian. And then when I told them I was getting married, they'd go, "Is that the Jesus?" What's Jesus thing like? <laughs> and then they would go on with the whole like abstinence stuff and like you're just getting married because you don't want to be abstinent and it's like people just don't get it. Like, yeah, just, I, I never got that from work. Man, I got it all the time. It was really frustrating. Because I've been where I work for nearly three years and I've, I've kind of been with Sam the whole time. So yeah, that's everyone's kind of enough. seen the development of yeah. our relationship. It hasn't been like a, <gasps> yeah. just getting married. Yeah. It's like, a, okay, we've it's actually like, yeah, seen you guys go yeah, through everything that's from so when true. you were teeny tiny to not so teeny tiny. <laughs> oh my but God. hey. <laughs> it's so true. I guess because I went into the workplace already engaged. So I was like, hey, I'm Hannah, I'm a Christian and I'm engaged all at once. And they were just like, oh my gosh, who are you? I got to go to work and go, hey guys, I got engaged last night. And everyone was like, whoa. I know. <laughs> I'm like so with the rest of your family like really supportive? Oh yeah, I've had my stepmom telling me since I was 19 that she's super excited for grandkids and I'm like, no. Kids are a long time off, guys. Very long and, time um, off. Yeah. My mum was like, obviously, over head over heels. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Was over like, the moon? Yeah, over the moon, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> she's like bawling her eyes out and everything. My dad was, I don't know. I just don't think like he got it. Is excited on the outside. He might have been excited on the inside, but that's just my dad, and I love him. I don't think I have any more questions. I know everyone asks me where I'm gonna live. Where are you gonna live when you get married? Southport. <laughs> <laughs> Southport. It's right um, now. Yeah, no. Well, I live at. I work at one end of the coast, and Sam works kind of halfway down. So Southport, Same Asheville. So basically, she's staying here. I don't know where I'm gonna be. She can live in my basement. <laughs> Sorry, right, I'll get a cat for you. Thank you. Yeah, guys, don't ask where I'm gonna be when I get married because I have no idea. Yeah. And everyone asks me that and it makes me feel anxious. <laughs> anyway, oh well. It'll be two fun weddings, very close together, 
lots of things We're to plan. We're each other's maids of honours as I well. Know. Well, you're going to be my matron of honour, which makes you sound really old, because you'll be married. That's a thing. That's a thing. Matron. matron. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be the distinguished matron of honour. Lots and lots of fun, but it's nice that we get to do it together, because it we've been through a lot together in the four short years that we've known each other, and, you know, but it's good that we get to do it with our best friends. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you, Bibi, for coming on. And she didn't want to do this, but <laughs> she, she wore makeup because she knew that she was going to do it. She told me that she might get me in a video, so I went, let's just put a face on, guys, so that and the isn't general it public. Beautiful. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope that you're enjoying your Sunday or that you enjoyed your Sunday. I'll be in the Solomon Islands, so this is pre recorded. And like and subscribe to the Lion's Den. <laughs> Duck off to <laughs> Like and subscribe to the Lion's Den if you would like to. Um, also, my social media will be linked below so you can follow me in my personal account if you're keen. And happy Sunday, guys. We'll see you in the next vlog.